No, it's just like a handshake. It's like a normal handshake. Sure. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Whoa. All right, Mr. Ludo, give give us like a like a brief introduction about yourself. Originally from the Dominican Republic, came here when I was 11, 12 years old. Lived in Miami, then moved to New York. Went to the U.S. Army for a few years, then I went to college and met my wife. I got married, had two kids. And why did you um, go to the US Army? That's something that I always, I don't know, it was always in the back of my head, you know, even from eighth grade. I remember one of my teachers was a Korean War veteran. He never really talked about it. Why do you like teach the, like social studies? Military and history kind of go together. And something that I really like it was something that doesn't feel like working yeah. most of the time. So I'll be talking to someone at, you know, in a restaurant about it. Except I get paid for it. What is one advice you give to all your students? Be honest, try not to cheat, try not to lie. The only person that you should feel comfortable with you is when you go to bed at night and you can say that you've been honest that day and haven't been an evil. That's, that's what I say. Don't be an evil. Moments. In your career. I, to be honest with you, the one thing about teaching is not necessarily like now. It's like seeing former students, maybe seeing both of you two, three years down the road and talking about this or talking about the class. Right now, you know, we're just going through the process. But seeing you, what you do in the future, that that's the most memorable part. What did you do in the military? I was a tanker, which those are the, the main battle tanks. I was like perfect for it. I was short. So I can fit in the tank very well. Do you still know how to like ride a tank? It would be like riding a bike. I had a license to drive a tank before I had a driver's license. Can you, okay, like, well, can you ride tanks in the state? Now, I could not. If like I get in it, I'd, I'd be able to drive it, shoot it, do everything. They don't let me in a tank right there. Okay, to be honest with you, I never lived with regrets because you don't know the choices what leads to one day. Actually, no, I do have one, sorry. One big regret is that I did not learn how to play an instrument, especially the piano. My grandmother was like a classical trained, not like, we talking about 20 years of playing the piano. She had like a grand piano in the house. When I look at the park, my friends were playing. So I'm there like trying to play the piano, but then I would leave. So that is what, that I truly regret, not playing the piano. My other will be maybe staying in the military will have allowed me to retire. I will have retired at 37 and I could then teach and have my, like a second career. But I don't call it a big regret because I was in a combat unit. My unit was in all the wars. So I could be that. But playing the piano, not learning how to play the piano, that's the number one regret. Actually, yeah. Okay. Just one second. <laughs> Why? What's what you're proud of? What makes you most happy? My children, about? my son, who's in the ninth grade here at Reagan, and my daughter, who's in seventh grade at EBT. That's my children. What you will tell to seventeen-year-old Lulu? Learn her play the freaky piano. <laughs> I mean, you still have time, Mister. Uh, I mean, it's like the moment, you know. You didn't record. I didn't record. I record. Oh, I didn't record it. You didn't record it? Yeah. I just asked, like, subtitles. Yeah, subtitles. Hey, why are you still recording? Uh, um, I don't know how to turn it off. Oh. <laughs>